If you need coins on Madden, NBA, 2K, and FIFA, go and check out MMOROG. It's a cheap and reliable source for your coins, and my code BDOG will get you 10% off on your purchase. Hey guys, BDOG6655 here, and I'm back with another video. And um, it has been a long time since I've been on NBA Live Mobile. I think it's been a month since I even recorded uh, an NBA Live Mobile video. So I am back. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be telling you what to sell your players for. Um, it has been a, a topic uh, among my uh, among the group of NBA Live Mobile players, YouTubers. Um, we all sell our players and collectibles for different amounts. Like, So I'm going to tell you my opinion or what you should sell them for. And uh, if you guys think this is a good idea, all right, you guys go ahead, sell your players for what I sell them for, or whatever you want. Like, it honestly doesn't matter, but this is my opinion and what I think is best to get you the most coins on a player. So let's go over to my bench. So let's hop over to the bench right here. So I got these couple gold players. I got some silver players that I can sell, bronze players. Um, any collectibles that I can sell? I don't think so. So I can sell these silver trophies, bronze trophies. Okay, so I have a lot sitting on the bench right now. And um, let's go to players. Um, so usually I sell my base golds for 3,000 coins. From It's eight ranges. If 75 to 79, I want to sell them for 3,000 coins. 80 pluses, those are very different because there are cards that are really expensive compared to others. Like I know there's, there's the Isaiah Thomas 82 overall. He sells for like 25k compared to the 83 Kemba Walker only sells for 15 so those are really prices that you need to look up individually um, because the prices range due to stats like yeah, Isaiah Thomas has really good three-pointer whereas Kemba Walker doesn't really have a, a, a really good stat so his price is lower so you want to look at the stats and you want to look at the individual price of what people are putting them up for and things like that so I'm going to put up this Thaddeus Young 77 overall 77 overall power forward for 3,000 coins and I'm gonna put a starting bid price at 2,500 put them up for four hours now this TJ Warren a lot of these um, a lot of these a lot of these uh, program cards will sell for more such as a TJ Warren um, I'm not honestly sure of his price I'm gonna go check right now just to show you an example so if I go over to auctions type in Warren, and then I'll put in 5k, um, there we go, and as you can see the TJ Warren is selling for the same price as the, um, you can see some 3000s in there, so you know he only sells for about 3250 coins, so these, he was more expensive than the Thaddeus Young, and uh, those are his stats right there if you guys want to see, he is pretty slow, but um, yeah, always look up program players and always look up 80 plus golds. Um, this is just for golds. I'm not talking about elites. I don't have any elites I can sell, but elites, once again, that's more of an individual price. There's no set price for elites because it's the same thing with the stats and the overalls. Like Stephen Curry goes for way more than um, Damian Lillard because Steph Curry's three pointer is insane. And as uh, same goes with Clay Thompson. That's just that's just how it goes. But um, I'm going to put this TJ Warren up for 3,200 coins and a starting bid price of 3,000 coins. Now, my silver players, I like to sell for around 750 coins, anywhere around that price. So I'm going to put all of these up for 750 coins. Oh, wow, I forgot. So I'm going to put all these guys up for 750 coins. Uh, just to show you guys, uh, usually if, if I go below 65, I'll sell them for 600 coins. And then above 70, I'll sell for 750, like I said. So I'm going to sell Raymond Felton for 750 coins and a starting bid price of 700 coins. Looks at 7,000, 700 coins. Post that. And I'll go down to um, Brandon Rush here. I'll sell him for 600 coins. That's not 600 coins. Uh, I'm going to put this Brandon Rush up for six. I'm going to put this Brandon Rush up for 600 coins and a uh, starting bid price of 500 coins. Now, bronze players, honestly, 
they're pointless. They really, they're not worth anything. You, you can't use them. So honestly, the only, I, I, either you want to quick sell them or you can just put them up for 101 coins. I don't care. Um, I'm going to keep Moose. Moose is goat. Um, if you guys don't watch uh, some 2K YouTubers, they have, they get nicknames for a lot of players. Mike Muscala is Moose. So you got to keep Moose. So usually, um, I just sell them for 101 coins. Sometimes I sell them for 111, just because you know it's all ones. It looks pretty good if you ask me. So uh, I'll put up James McAdoo for 111 coins, and let's go down to collectibles. Let's go collectibles. Um, I know I have silver and bronze trophies over here. So my silver trophies I like to sell for a thousand coins, maybe a thousand one hundred. So I'm gonna sell, put them up for a thousand one hundred coins, and a starting bid price of a thousand coins. That's just what I do. Um, it, it's it really carries over kind of to Madden Mobile. The prices are almost the same, except for the individual prices. Like in Madden Mobile, 80 plus golds will go for the same amount. Like every 80 plus gold will probably go for around the same amount if it's a base card. Whereas you can have Isaiah Thomas, who goes for 25k, compared to Kemba Walker, who's a high overall, will go for less. So that's what that's the only difference between NBA Live and Madden Mobile. Mostly it's all the same. Um, yeah, I put my silver trophies up for 1,100 coins. I put my bronze trophies usually up for around 900 coins, maybe 850. I'm gonna put it up for 850, and then 800 as a bid price, starting bid price. See if I have anything else. I do not have anything else. So now that we're here, here's my team, just because you know. We're all done with the best sets. You guys can click off the video if that's all you want to see, but here's my team right now. Um, my favorite lineup... Oh, I gotta replace that Westbrook. Never mind, I'm not replacing that Westbrook. Um, I think my, my favorite lineup is definitely my shooting lineup. What, one, it is the highest overall. Two, it's got so many good shooters. I think almost everyone can shoot on the team. Isaiah Thomas, as I was talking about, he's got 88 three-pointer. And the shooting lineup gives you plus two three pointer and plus two shot. So he has 93 pointer and 74 shooting. That's really good. And he's really fast. The only problem is he's short. So his shots don't go in as much for some reason, just because he's shorter. But um, I got that J.R. Smith throwback card. He has uh, 83 three pointer. It doesn't seem too good because he has 83 three pointer. But he also has 82 shooting. And so those two shot, those two um, spots rounded together are, are a really good card. He makes more threes than Isaiah Thomas because um, three-pointing, three-point shooting and regular shooting are kind of rounded together to give you like um, an outside scoring uh, overall and if the better that is the better your uh, your player will be shooting so J.R. Smith has a better he has a better overall uh, outside shot than Isaiah Thomas does and that's the only reason why one of them shoots better than the other. And that's just in my opinion. That's what I think. I'm not positive. That's not facts. But that's what I think. Um, it's really compares to who has the better average shot from outside. So Andrew Wiggins is a really good... He's a decent shooter. He has 83 shooting, which is really good. So he can make a decent amount of threes, even though he only has 72 three-pointers. Uh, he does make a decent amount of threes because he does have 81 shooting. And he's 6'8", and he's pretty fast. He's a really good card for me. He makes a lot of threes. Obviously, you gotta have Chris Dapps. Chris Dapps is a monster. 83 pointer and 74 shooting. Doesn't seem too good. He doesn't make that many threes, but um, he is tall, so he can get a shot off a lot. Um, so kind of it, it gives him a better chance to make the shot. And I don't think Hassan can shoot. Uh, 41 three pointer. I, I usually take mid range jumpers, and I really don't use Hassan that much. To be honest, I don't use Hassan that much. He doesn't have that good of a three pointer. And um, this is my favorite lineup, so all I really do is shoot threes and jumpers because, you know, three-pointers are legends. Because, you know, three-pointers give you more points. Um, so, yeah, I, I do use this lineup the most, but, um, yeah. So there's a little shooting lesson for you guys. Everything else is average. I know Giannis point guard is really good. Um, guys, that's going to be the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Take a lesson from it, whatever. Um, leave a comment, leave a like. Hit me up with a subscription. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
They tried to give me a ticket, but I ripped it like a raffle. Tell them people I am Mr. Derek Sacco.